Hey everyone, I'm Kelly with the SuburbanSoapbox.com and today we are making the best mashed potatoes ever. These mashed potatoes are rich and creamy and there's no peeling whatsoever. You are going to love these mashed potatoes just as much as my family does. Let's get started. To make our mashed potatoes, we're going to start with, obviously, potatoes. And I like Yukon Gold potatoes the best. They're just, they hold together a little bit more. They don't get as broken down and mushy as some other potatoes. If you don't have Yukon Gold potatoes or you can't find them, a yellow potato or a butter potato is a great substitute, as is a russet potato. You're also going to need cream cheese, about four ounces, a stick of butter, and half and half. You're also gonna need salt and pepper just to give it a little bit of seasoning. And to make your mashed potatoes, you can either use a hand masher or a hand mixer. I'm going to use a hand mixer, but if you don't have a hand mixer, one of these old fashioned uh, mashed potato mashers that you get stuck in your drawer and that seems to be the only thing they're good for, they're great for making your mashed potatoes. They're chunky and you get the bits of the skin in there as well. You'll see like, None of my potatoes are the same size. It doesn't really matter because you can cut them so that they're all about the same size and then your potatoes are gonna cook nice and evenly so that you don't have pieces that are like over or underdone. So some one this size, I just like them to be about an inch bite-sized pieces and you're just gonna throw it into the pot. And make sure you rinse all of your potatoes before you put them into the pot. And as you can see, I'm leaving the skin on. I love that these potatoes are rustic and that the skin kind of gives them a little added texture. I had a thing when I was little about mashed potatoes. I hated, hated, hated the texture. I think that maybe they were like too broken down or I don't know, I hated mashed potatoes. But once we made them with the skin on, I don't know, it was just a game changer. You still had some of those big chunky pieces that were stuck to the skin. So it had a little bit more of a bite instead of just like pureed potatoes. All right, so now that we have all of our potatoes into the pot, we're going to fill the pot just above the level of the potatoes, just to cover with cold water. And the reason you wanna start with cold water is so that your potato doesn't start to cook as soon as you drop it in the water. If you drop your potato into the boiling water, it's gonna immediately start to cook on the outside of the potato and not so much inside, so your potato isn't gonna cook evenly. If you start with cold water and bring it up to temperature, your potatoes are going to come up to temperature at the same rate as your water so that your potatoes are cooked evenly and they mash up perfectly. So we're just gonna fill this with some water and then once you have your potatoes covered with water, we're just gonna season it with some salt. And this is pretty much the only time you can get seasoning into a potato, like into the potato, is when it's cooking or it's in some water. It's kind of like pasta. So the pasta and the potatoes absorb that salt while they're cooking in the water. So once you have your potatoes covered in the water and salted, you wanna bring your potatoes to a boil over medium high heat. Once your water's boiling, turn it down to low and let them simmer for about 20 minutes until your potatoes are fork tender. So I have some potatoes here that are all ready to go. Once you have your potatoes drained, and I really, really, really love this contraption, you can drain them in a standard strainer, but this is awesome, I got it on Amazon. This is not an affiliate, just check this out. It's super cool. It just clips on to any size pot and then you can drain whatever, pasta, keep it in the pot, less things to clean. So our potatoes are now cooked. They're fork tender. It's really easy, they break up very nicely. And now we're going to add all the fun stuff to the potatoes. So, we're going to add room temperature butter. It's really important that your butter is room temperature so that it melts right into those potatoes. And as soon as you put this in, it's going to melt just beautifully. So we're gonna put the stick of butter in there and we're going to add cream cheese. So I have about four ounces 
And then we're going to also add some half and half. So I like to get it started before I add the half and half so that it doesn't splash all over the place. And if you wanna go wholly decadent, you can do full fat cream, like a heavy cream would work really well, or you can pull back and you can put low fat milk. But really, we, why? Because we're already putting all of this stuff in here. So we might as well just make the mashed potatoes and enjoy them and enjoy in moderation. You can give it a start with the hand masher if you like, but because everything is like already melting in here and it's pretty loose, we're going to just go ahead and start with the hand mixer. So I like to just give it a couple mashes to make sure that like the butter and everything is starting to break up. And then we're gonna start mixing. Once you get to this point where they're starting to get like really buttery and creamy, we're gonna start to add in the heavy cream. And you wanna do that while you're mixing, but not on high so you don't splash everybody, anyone that's in your kitchen. Unless it's somebody you don't like, then that's okay. And this is why I didn't add all of the milk because our potatoes were pretty much broken down. We had a lot of, um, making a mess here, a lot of butter and cream cheese in there and I didn't really use the whole bag of potatoes which this recipe calls for five pounds of potatoes. I used about a half of that. So they're creamy and they're light and fluffy and they're ready to go. So now we're gonna season just with a little bit of salt just give it a little sprinkle and give it a taste. You don't want to over season because we did salt the water before we put the potatoes in there. And we're gonna add a little bit of pepper or a lot of pepper if you're pepper people. I do like to give my potatoes a stir just to make sure there's not like salt in your grandmother's first bite or your mother-in-law's first bite. So now you're ready to serve. You can add just transfer your potatoes to a serving dish. Oh. <laughs> if you wanna add more butter, you can. If you wanna add a little more cream cheese, this is really like however you want it to be. You can see the bits of skin, the potato skin in there, which gives it some great texture. We really love these mashed potatoes. We don't make them all the time. I like to just top them with a little bit more black pepper. Sometimes I'll sprinkle on some chopped chives. You can do parsley. Some roasted garlic would be amazing blended in. And now I'm going to have my lunch. Let's take a bite. Mm. They're absolutely perfect, creamy, with little bits of potato, and that tang from the cream cheese just takes it to another level. These are, by far, the best mashed potatoes, and I hope that you do give them a try. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to give us a like and subscribe to our channel. For more easy recipes, follow the suburbansoapbox.com. Thanks again.